Anyway, I'm glad you could make it, Adelaide. So it really is you. It's good to see a number of familiar faces among you. But what a cruel twist of fate that we should have to meet again like this. You're telling me. Um, so you plan on fighting us for real too then? There's no way we could, you know, like, talk out of it? Talk you out of it or something? I'm afraid that doesn't appear to be an option. Since I first became conscious of my existence here, I've attempted to mediate on a number of occasions. But it appears uh, but it appears the me before you lacks a sense of self, as it were. And so I am unable to go against the purpose for which I was created. <sighs> of course you try to medi meditate right away. You really are a special guy, Kurt. Well, don't think we got any choice but to resign ourselves to the inevitable and get on with it, brah. I believe so. I look forward to seeing what you can do. And of course, he's got to have a couple of homies. Uh, uh, fighting three of him from his favorite attack range isn't going to be easy. This is going to be a tough one, guys. My formation is flexible yet resilient, much like nature itself. <laughs> now let's our battle begin. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving him like the anime silly villain voice, but fuck him up, guys. Let's go. Yahamon. Let's fuck him up. Let's fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Up, 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 up. Okay, I'm going to go with the one on the left first because why not? All right, so the guy that took your brother's car has a barn in his house. You think your brother's car is inside of that? That is a very po distinct possibility based on how crazy the guy was and the fact that he was still asking about the car after stealing it. Also, fuck you, Kurt. Fuck you, Kurt. Oh my god, fuck you, Kurt. That was some bullshit, bro. That's some bullshit, Kurt. Kurt's a real McButthole, did you know this? He's a real goddamn butthole, I tell you what. Yeah, come on. Just focus on damage. I do want to revive you know, revive, but I'm trying to focus on damage still. Wow, Estelle, why is everybody just shaking and baking right now? I'm not complaining, but it's incredible. Shake while you bake, player. Shake while you bake. Shake them while you bake. Da -da 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 -da. Go ahead and start it. Gotta heal my shit, bro. Whistle while you work. Quirk some. I don't have any tier all bombs, which I was just talking about, but... Zero bombs will have to do for the moment. This is like the dumbest set of enemies I've had to fight so far. Oh shit, until this happened. Holy fuck lord. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'll take it. What? Damn it. Why you got to miss? Of all the times to miss, girl. How, how dare you? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I guess just attack this guy for now. Oh my god. What's with all the misses in this round? Jesus, everybody missing. Anyway, also, we were pretty lucky the guy showed up at your brother's friend's trailer first. Your grandma's house is literally right next to it and her door was unlocked. That is a good thing. That is a good thing. Hey, Sword Sage. Welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing today? I don't know what I want to do here. I guess heal himself for now. I gotta let my CP rebuild up. Shit's gone, man. I really want to camp for this guy, like, really bad. Thank you. Like, I'm willing to sacrifice my turn for it. Sacrifice a turn of healing, that is. Not necessarily my whole turn. Oh, I wanted to heal a stale really bad, but I can't run it. Ooh, sweet. Everyone's in range. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and camp for Kurt as well. Why not? I've been hitting him this whole time. Might as well. But yeah, Sword Sage, it's going pretty good, man. I'm just, I'm, I think I'm about to wrap up this little section of Sixth Plane right now, like this area. I'm about to wrap it up, I think, by fighting Kurt here and then going through the rest of the area. Might have one more boss here. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Like one more boss in this facility, I mean. Yeah. 
It all depends on what they decided to put after our boy Kurt. All right, so magic time. Uh, actually, she's gonna go before, but the AOE is not gonna hit only but one guy. So, wow, he has a hundred HP. Yeah, we're just gonna do that on Kurt then. Fuck Kurt. I'm just gonna kill this guy before he does some other shit. Fuck you, Kurt, man. Damn it. So annoying that he knocks you across the whole fucking map. What an annoying bitch. Furia. Oh, she's already back on her feet, so never mind on that. Uh. I don't know what I want to do. I guess just hit him with Shadow Spear again or whatever. Sounds good. I'll just keep hitting this guy to let my CP build back up a little bit. Anyway, Kurt, you're already done, dude. Just give up. Just give up and go home, Kurt. Anyway, the guy's also been stealing some stuff from other people, too. Some of your neighbors also have had that stuff missing. Well, then it's definitely that guy who stole everybody's stuff. It's time to just go to his shit and take all your shit back. I mean, I don't know if he lived by himself or what, but... Might as well go take all your shit back, you know what I mean? Also, I totally just realized he does not have his debuff on him anymore. Well, the dude's already in jail, Frog, if you missed that part of the story. So they can't really break his legs right now, but maybe later. That was hella unnecessary now, but... Night-night, Kurt. We win. We handled all three of these fights pretty good, I gotta say. Well done. Well done indeed. Proxy Puppet. <laughs> I see. I still have much room to, for improvement. I can only hope that the knowledge I've gained from this battle will find its way to my real self as well. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met anyone as serious about your training as you, Kurt. It's no wonder you're way stronger than when we last fought if you take bettering yourself that seriously. With promising young braces like you around, I can't very well afford to rest on my laurels. Still, with the skills you demonstrated there, perhaps you have a chance of defeating her. Ah, shit. Huh? Wait a sec, I thought you were the last person we had to fight here, brah. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Another foe awaits you on this building's highest floor. But don't even think of taking her lightly. She is formidable in every sense of the word. Her martial arts skills, given her age, are nothing short of exceptional. So if you try challenging her with any less than your best, you won't last. I have an idea of who this could be. Um... Oh, lucky us. I thought we were home free but from from here. But now there's someone else, brah? I got a really bad feeling as to who it could be, too. I mean, I don't know that many martial artists out there who could wipe the floor with us. I think I know who we're talking about now. <laughs> I really hope we're wrong about this one. Or around those this time. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be Zin's girlfriend. That's who I think it's going to be. Investigate what boldly shines its artificial lights to embolden the night sky then you shall obtain radiance so there's more items on behind maybe one of those little light beam things I don't know but we got the blue key card now so we can finally finish exploring this place bitch in okay so the guy who's stealing all the shit lives with his uh live with his dad and his dad had no idea what was going on. That's fucking ridiculous, man. Remember the jailhouse scene visit from the cable guy? Huh. Not off the top of my head, Frog. And also, hey, Maro. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, yeah, I see you're catching up on freaking Robin's story about her freaking... Her situation, which has been craziness. Wait, there was a green door over here. Hold on. Or blue door, rather. Sorry. Blue door. What do we have? Ooh, treasure. Grand Slammy time. 
Maybe the one who is actually empty is the person double checking open chests all over the way all over the place. Damn, calling me empty inside? How dare you? Celestial bomb. Congratulations, by opening me, you missed out on the best weapon in the game. Oh, don't do that. That's some Final Fantasy 12 bullshit. Don't fucking play that game. No, thank you. Found tournament invitation. Tournament invitation? Is that how we unlock the higher levels of the tournament? What do a shirtless guy and what you're looking at have in common at now have in common? A bare chest. There, Mara, you got you got your joke, literally. Motherfucker. Ridiculous. It even involved a bare chest, your favorite. Alright, anyway, uh wait. What was over here? Just a guy to fight, of course. Yay! <laughs> I get surprise attack. Can I run? Because fuck that. I'm already over it. I'm out of here. All right. So now we can open up the blue and it goes up. So if that goes up. Hold up. Ah, there we go. I tried to examine that earlier, but there was no marker. Maybe I needed to know the clue first. Which doesn't make sense because... The other one in the in the little capsule was it's obtainable without the blue thing, but whatever. Or without the clue, rather. Not the clue, but the blue. The blue clue. The blue's clues. All right, let's open up all these blue doors. And then we'll go up. Wood gem. Hey, there's an echo in here. Echo in here. Echo in here. Echo in here. In here. In here. Funny. Funny. How goes the tits? It's going pretty good so far. I mean, we're only on the f the first little area of today. Obviously, shit takes forever in this game sometimes. This area has been pretty substantial overall. Fuck off, you big metal bitch. I don't want to fight you. Now, it's okay if you've been lurking tomorrow. I'm sure you got things going on. Don't worry about it. Yes, okay. Let's get this blue door, and then we can go back even for Persia. Faja. I'm assuming there's going to be one more door here, right? Somewhere. Celestial bomb. The bottom of this chest is a lovely mahogany. Wow. I can't believe I came all the way over here for a fucking celestial bomb of all things. I was expecting that to be super worth it. I guess it was good, but whatever. All right. Let me get through this fucking big ass room. Mahogany. A rich mahogany. All right, back down one more time. Oh, that's up. Oops, I fucked up. I had the green marker next to it. I don't know why it didn't occur to me. I was that was dumb. Do, 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 do. So I think there's one blue door down here, maybe two. I think there's one. I know there's one at the very beginning of the dungeon. That I know. But I don't remember if there was another one along the way. There might have been. This was a red and a green door. I know this door was locked. But I don't really know what that's about. Sealed doors are shut. Wait. Oh. That opened the front door. Now we can go outside. Right, okay. Question. Is there anything out here that's, like, secret or whatever? Probably not. I'm trying to remember what the first clue said. I feel like it said something about uh, back out here by the boat or something, didn't it? I might, might, I might be misremembering. There's definitely another stash of Sepith here somewhere. I just don't recall what the clue was. I guess I could go check. Kind of tempted, actually. I might do that. I did find the spotlight one, Frog. I did. But anyway, let's open the blue door down here real quick. Ah, this is another door. Okay, cool. This door is... Those who seek to enter this door must first overcome a trial. Should this fail to deter you, open the door and step inside. Well, you already know. If it's a trial... And it's not requiring any particular character. 
We're going to do this right the fuck now. Let's do it. I'm okay with a trial door. Let's do it. We'll do the door where it requires Ren later, like after we're done with this area. But I'm going to do this door now. Oh, yes. Do, 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 do. The Star Chamber, motherfucker. Let's do this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do this shit. I'm sure it's a boss. Bring on the boss. Bring on the boss. Overcome the trial before you. Then I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Well, alrighty then. Four of these big mech dudes and the boss guy. Okay. And sick music to boot. I like it. Okay, well. Sick music indeed. Alright, what do I want to do here? My magic's gonna take too long. Yo, what's up, Drew? Welcome to the stream. How you doing today, sir? I'm gonna do an AoE, I think. You believe in me, Frog? You believe in me? I believe in me too! Alright, I don't know what to really focus on. I guess focus on the mechs because they're low HP. I'll camp for the big boy. The rest of these fuckers are just gonna get wrecked the normal way. Oh wait, what's morale first? Ah, my morale's useless. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. I want morale on him and An or her and Annalise. That's who I want the most on. Ah! Jesus. Quit analyzing my combat data, you whores. Quit it. I'd love to hit three of these guys, but I don't... Oh, wait. Nope. There we go. Perfect. Just trying to take out these mech dudes as quickly as possible, preferably. Let's end this. 13 hundo, 3,000, 4,000. Yeah, let's get this guy dead. Ooh, I forgot about the explosion afterwards. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, anybody need heals right now? Not particularly. Let's do some Shadow Spear on the big boy then. Stell's just going to keep hurricaning him because why not? And missing all of them, apparently. Jesus. Anyway, agreed on the great job on tactics last night, Drew. You did a, you did well on Orbone for show. In Scott, we trust. Scott's a fucking savage. What can I say? He handles everybody's business, not just his own, but all the business. Another explodey boy down. Another explodey boy down. Let me keep hitting this dude with magic, I think. This battle's actually going on probably too well, to be honest. But I don't think it's that hard. That's probably why. Um. Yeah, we'll just hit this dude with the little way. Gotta get rid of the little homie missile man back here, and then we're good. Hmm, I don't really like that Estelle is blinded here. Shouldn't even have bothered with that. I should have just healed her. You gonna take tonight off from streaming, Drew? If your throat's hurting and stuff, man, that's a good idea. Take it easy, homie. Rest rest those vocal cords. I'll just be over here tearing mine up with these fucking voices. No, he summoned an extra one. I Damn it. I was afraid he was going to do that. On the positive side, we're still chipping him away, so it's fine. Ooh, that move was not bueno, though. Ooh, ooh, I did not like that. Ooh. Not care for that. Ooh. 
Annalise is dying. No, don't die, Annalise. Uh... Don't die, Annalise. I need to heal you. Okay. I'm just going to keep focusing on the big dude because he's getting chipped away. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. She doesn't have any healing moves, right? Not really. Uh, how much HP does this fucker in front of me have? 81? Get the hell out of here. Shit, I forgot about the explosion. Oops. Well, whatever. Heal her up. So this is a bad predicament right now because everybody's hurting with status effects and such. So I'm going to hit myself with one of these. Alright, done. The rest of this fight, just got to finish off this weak sauce bitch. So do you still have a long way to go in tactics? You are... I don't. I hate to say you're halfway through the game, Drew, but you're about halfway through the game. I'll give you that. You're about halfway. You're at like a halfway point that could that some people would say you're almost halfway done, or you're almost like to the halfway point. It just depends because a lot of the battles later, there's they're harder and might take you longer. You know, that's the only reason I don't. I'm afraid to say halfway, but in terms of the amount of battles. You're probably about halfway. All right, all right, all right. I need to kill this fucking last dude here. Um, I really want to make sure she doesn't die though. So maybe a little purging bomb is not a bad idea. But yeah, I'm thinking because you're enjoying the game so much, Drew, we'll make sure we steer you in the right direction to do the side stuff because it'll be worth it. Side stuff's pretty fun. And it's not like so much side stuff other than maybe like the final side thing that's pretty long. But if you want to do that too, you know, it's a good time. Damn it! The fucking explosion killed Annalise, you piece of shit. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not mad, you're mad. Damn it. <laughs> you have overcome the trial. Thus I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. What kind of story time are we going to get today? What do we have for... Oh, it's fucking Blue Blanc. And no, I have not played Metroid Dread yet, Sword Sage, but I'm going to very soon. Um, we're probably going to do it on a Saturday stream. But yes, going to happen. Anyway, an investigative report on Phantom Thief B. His crimes, his history, and his true identity. Hell yeah, let's do this. Imperial Chronicle investigation, or investigative team, rather. Here we go, here we go. Phantom Thief B has had quite the lengthy and productive career in thievery in the Empire, as the amount of records we have been able to find on his crimes proves beyond a, beyond a doubt. From numerous paintings held in the Imperial Art Gallery to a septium crystal held in the Empire's Customs Warehouse to in even a cutting-edge tank held in an Imperial Army Research Facility, nothing is truly safe when he desires to steal it. His conquests aren't limited to inanimate objects. He has been guilty of pretending to be a military officer and eloping with the wife of the Marquis on a re one reported occasion. Jesus. Yet, and this is perhaps the most baffling part, there is no concrete evidence to suggest that he has profited from his exploits. Rather, the objects stolen usually end up in places so bizarre, their owners are liable to faint upon he hearing about them. In other cases, they are transformed into Mira, which is then rained down from the sky in areas largely inhabited by those less fortunate. So he's a fucking Robin Hood dude, I get it. Hearing this, one might be led to think him, him a vigilante thief who takes from the rich and giving to the poor, but make no mistake. The truth is not so simple. The wife of the Marquis discussed earlier is a fine example of that. 
As of this writing, it has been a little over half a year since the elopement took place. Since then, she has remained unaccounted for. Many of the items stolen by him may return to the public eye in some fashion, but not all. Between his eccentric techniques and bizarre behavior regarding the objects he steals, it might appear as though he thefts, his thefts are purely whims and nothing else. Upon studying the overall picture and reviewing the objects and indeed people in play, you begin to see that they all have one specific thing in common. Take the artwork stolen from the Imperial Art Gallery, for example. Each of them were works of pure genius, painted by a master of their craft. But they gained a reputation for being too complex for the target audience of such works, the nobility, and were shamefully stored away instead of placed on display. Similar could be said of the Septium Crystal, known for its unparalleled beauty. After being, gazed, or after being seized by custom, customs, it was sealed away in a warehouse and doomed never to be admired by human eyes again. The Tank, again, is one more example. With its promising development cut short, rather than be put to good use, it was left collecting dust. As an aside, the case of the Marquis's wife does contain some striking similarities. Despite marrying her, his, he devoted most of his attention to his concubines and barely spared a thought for her. In conclusion, we can see now that the underlying motive for his actions is finding objects of beauty that have been abandoned by the world and freeing them from their foolish owners. No matter how the world may see his crimes, his motive is clear. The truth of the, that is evident in the cards he leaves before committing his crimes. This is the so-called liberation of beauty mentioned upon each of them. Phantom Thief B steals not for money, but for an ideal he believes in. And it is in fact and it is in his, and it, it is in this fact we believe are clues to his true identity. Who is Phantom Thief B? A number of valid theories have come out, come out uh, come about on the face are behind our famed thief. Unfortunately, they are all as lacking in conclusive proof as they are numerous, and so it is impossible to say whether any of them are actually correct. To complicate matters further, we now even have deranged individuals coming forward pretending to be him and allowing themselves to be captured by law enforcement. That is not to say, however, that none of the theories circulating are at all that at all plausible. Here we will introduce three such theories which have developed significant followings and may not turn out to be far from the truth. Three theories? That's too many. Theory 1. Amorous Con Artist X. X is personal history. X is known for his exceptional skill as a con artist, having faked his own identity in order to engage in romantic relationships with noble women. He was a, as handsome as he was capable, and he was exceptionally proud in nature as well. Born to a poor family in the temperate south, he became used to stealing in order to make ends meet from a young age. According to testimony from a companion of his at the time, he was never caught, never once caught, for such thefts. The reason X converted from being a common thief to a con artist is believed to have stemmed from falling in love with a noble woman of much higher social standing than he. The role of the aristocracy was absolutely the country he called home, and blessed romances between those of the different classes than thinkable. With that in mind, he resolved to create a false identity in order to make his dream possible. Following his first rousing success, he came to do the same on a myriad of other occasions, indulging in one forbidden affair after another. It was a mere ten years ago that he was arrested on suspicion of identity fraud, but he performed a miraculous escape from prison. Ever since then, his whereabouts have remained unknown. Thoughts? Both X's peerless skills as a thief and his interest in forbidden romances with noble women sound remarkably like what we know of Phantom Thief B. Also worth noting is that despite using his abilities of deception to court those of vast wealth, he's, he displayed virtually no interest in their fortunes. That is, that is to say he gained no be financial benefit from his actions whatsoever. Instead, he simply lamented that he was unable to indulge in them because he, of something as trivial as, social, as his social class. We conclude that his attitude, this attitude bears a striking resemblance to the thief's own views on beauty. Okay. That one's a little bit questionable. I don't know if that's specifically him, but I can see the similarities. Anyway, theory number two, tragic artist Y, XYZ. Personal history. Y was an artist with a rather, tra rather tragic past. Born to a middle-class family in the North, he was hired by an influential aristocrat to be their personal artist, producing many a stunning piece of, of work. However, it was later discovered that it wasn't all he was he produced. On the contrary, he was also responsible for a number of counterfeit pieces. The one who hired him sought to profit through ill means thanks to his work, or s and so he created such counterfeits under the noble's instructions. One day, however, Y suddenly left the noble service. The reason remains unknown. This is where his tragedy begins. Immediately after leaving his client behind, Y received a terrible piece of news. His lover, the daughter of a respected family, had been killed in a traffic accident. In a traffic accident. While there is no evidence to prove as such, it is rumored that the noble may have had a hand in her death. Y was only spotted once more at his lover's grave before, uh, de before forever disappearing from the public eye. To those who knew his story, he became known as the tra truly tragic artist. Several years later, the noble was murdered. 
thoughts. The story of why has still has several unsolved mysteries surrounding it and has invited much speculation, both of which have likely led to the theory that he and Phantom B are the one and the same. Those aren't the only reasons naturally. Phantom Thief B has been known at times to try and dispose of counterfeits, believing them to be false beauty. This has led to believe that Phantom B Thief B may be attempting to rid the world of counterfeits that he himself created. Lending further credibility to this is the discovery that the f forgeries disposed of by Phantom Thief B were indeed the works of Y. Okay, I could see that. I could see why that is. And last but not least, we got theory number three, skilled martial artist Z. Personal history. The story of Z is significantly different from the other two potential identities that we have proposed here, making this an unusual but still plausible possibility. Z was born in the Far East as the son of a famed military family. He was an attractive, delicately built young man, but he was far more skilled at martial arts than his frame would have suggested, being blessed with a great natural talent. He is also said to possess a keen, sharp mind, and there was a mild air of arrogance about him, too. Z was indeed blessed in nearly every way. He, became from an, he came from an important family, he had skill, he had looks, and as a result, he came to feel bored with the world around him. He hardly kept such thoughts to himself. In fact, he often voiced his complaints to anyone with ear, within earshot. These complaints persisted until one day he simply disappeared, telling no one where he was going and leaving nothing to suggest his next destination. Thoughts? Much of this theory is based on the idea of geniuses being eccentric by nature. There are some who say that the fighting style of Z has some resemblance to the peculiar skills used by Phantom Thief B. In terms of credibility, this theory is barely a cut above many other similar unusual suggestions. Still, the idea that the man beneath the mask is one from the East is certainly an interesting and an exciting one, leading many to wish it were true, even if they find themselves doubting it actually is. Okay. Theories, theories, who's got the theories? That bring us to, brings us to the end of outlining three very different theories. Could X, Y, or Z be the true identity of our famed th Phantom Thief? Or is the truth perhaps something else entirely? The only way we will know for sure is to hear the truth from the man himself. Of course, whether we can trust anything he says is a discussion for another time. Postscript. P.S. After this article was first published, we received a card, believed to be from the Phantom Thief Beat himself at our office. Oh boy. The contents of the card were as follows. The truth of my identity is already within your grasp. My number reveals all. Judging by this, it is believed that one of the three theories proposed is the true identity of Phantom, B Th Phantom Thief B. That said, uncovering the meaning behind his words has proven to be a trying task. My number reveals all? Will one valued reader be able to step forward and solve that we cannot? Only time will tell. The number of B. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, is B his number? Number B. Number B. Which is funny. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of that side story, I guess. Cool. We learned about Phantom Thief B, and we got the Phantom Thief's Cape and 10K Mira. Nice. Phantom Thief's Cape, huh? I wonder if that's any good. Phantom Thief Cape to do do to do 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 Phantom Thief Cape to do 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 Phantom Thief Cape do 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 Phantom Thief Cape do 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 do. Anyway, agility and move and drop rate up. Not bad. Uh, honestly, I could just put it on Analyze for now. That sounds good. He is Ouroboros Enforcer number 10. Okay, well, that doesn't really help me either then, Sword Sage. The answer lies in his number. One. Was he the first guy? The Roman numeral for 10 is X. Oh. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. Why am I walking back? I need to heal. Let's just teleport back up to the third floor. Oh, wait. I wanted to check the, the clue. Hold on. I'm going to heal first, and then I'm going to go check the clue real quick. Hold up. I'm going to go double check the clue, the first clue that we picked up when we fought uh, Grant. The, I know it was backwards, but I wanted to see where that hidden stash of stuff was. Like, I didn't take that as a clue of a stash that I could find. I just read it and was like, oh, that's a back weird backwards statement. Investigate one of the six gates that mana manipulates the flow to the Iron River. Then shall you obtain 
One of the back of the six gates. Have I come across that room? I don't know if I've come across that room yet. I mean, if we have, I'll have to check. But let's just go back to the third floor now and we'll see. One of the six gates? I don't remember doing a room like that. Unless it's this room. Like that controls the flow of water or whatever. I don't know. Ah, I don't want to fight you. No. Asshole. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to get on the last elevator and get to the last floor and uh, go the wrong way. I don't want to fight you. I just want to go up the elevator. Did I save it after fighting that boss? That The trial boss? I'm going to save it right now. I might have, but I'm going to do it again just in case. I think I did, actually. Or no, you know what? I don't know if I did. Well, I did now, so it doesn't matter, but I might not have already. Oh, yeah. Snuck by that bitch. Not going to sneak by that one. That's fine. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, come on. Uh. Yeah. Oops. I didn't mean to attack that one. Meant to attack the one in the back that's gonna die next. God, no damage at all? I did damage, at least. Oh my god. What a punk-ass hoe back there in the corner, man. What a punk ass biznitch in the Kona. In the Kona. Asshole. Alright, not bad, not bad. Could have been worse. Alright. Damn, this area had four monoliths. <laughs> That's a lot more monoliths than I would have guessed one of these areas was going to have. But okay. Let's pop a save. And let's see who it is. Is it going to be Zin's girlfriend? Did I call it? Huh? Oh? That's strange, bruh. I was figuring the next battle would be in this room, but there's no one here, dog. Weird. This is the top floor, though, right? Not technically. There's an area for landing airships on the rooftop, bruh. We probably better check there, too, just in case. Okay. We can make that happen. We can make that happen real good. You certainly took your time. Called it! Not that it was that hard to call. Uh-oh. I knew it was you, brah. It's good to be reunited with so many bracers from Liberal in one place. I hope you've been doing well since I left for the Republic. <laughs> we have. We sure have. Thanks. Now, right down to business, Kevin. I take it you understand the situation without me needing to explain it. I think so. I assume you're the second guardian, Philip being the first one? We'll need to defeat you in order to advance the next area, huh? Correct. I can't say that I'm... That fond of having to fight in an old Ouroboros base, of all things. Oh well, I suppose it'll have to do this time. Those are chakrams! Watch out, guys! Those are really deadly as throwing weapons, brah! They can be used as more than simple throwing weapons. I'm going to murder you all. But I'll bring homies along for the ride anyways. Jesus, she brought some big old ogre bitches. As the second guardian, I, Killika Rorin, master level student of the Taito School, will serve as your opponent. Bring it on, bitch! I'd be happy to test my skills against you. 
Let's do this, bros. I'll give it all I got. All right. Let's do this. Where's Xena when you need her? Funny thing is this girl actually looks kind of like Xena, Frog. It's funny. She's not dressed like her, but she kind of looks like her. She got that long brunette, you know, long ha long brunette hair, wide-eyed look, you know? Kick ass, gonna kick your ass kind of feel. Kind of reminds me of Xena a little bit. All right, we're gonna focus on, I guess the side bitches first. Yeah, if she had the outfit, she could totally pass for, she could do a Xena, a Xena cosplay pretty easily. You're done. All right, we're gonna camp for the fuck out of these guys. One at a time, one at a time. Yeah. Okay. I don't think the hurricane move is going to work very well here. I guess I could just do it. Just to kind of knock some fools around a little bit, you know? Nah, I mean. But yeah, we'll focus on dude back here. Double Dragon Helix, or whatever it was called. Oh my god, this move is awesome. It's gonna hurt, isn't it? Ow, it hit everyone, literally. Holy shit, dude, that was a lot of damage. Goddamn, okay. That was no bueno. Uh, Sacred Breath, hit everyone, please. Okay, not gonna hit Annalise, but that's okay. Better than nothing. Nice. Again, I'm chipping away a big boy up top first. Alright. I don't think I can hit everybody with that. Um, let's just attack the dude up there. Right now we're just chipping him down. Sword wind slash. I'm gonna get rid of this fucking purple ogre and then we can focus. Focus our attacks proper. Might camp for. I don't know. I, I should camp for Killica, but I think I might wait a moment. Just focus on doing damage on these other guys. I think we're good. All right, one purple fuck down. These kind of remind me of actual like behemoths from Final Fantasy, but like they're standing up and they're like you know they look kind of like Ganon almost too with their and they got fucking ponytails and shit. You always keep underestimating the absolute rage of Hurricane. Totally didn't think it would hit both Minotaurs. Oh, dude, the Hurricane move is the best. I, I abuse the fuck out of it. It's so good. All right, we're gonna kill this guy before we do. Uh, what's it? What's it called on on uh, Kilika? Make sure we kill this other motherfucker. Beat him down, beat him down. Build up the CP right now. Mm, mm, mm. Beat him down, beat him down while you build up the CP right now. And we're gonna heal herself. Oh man, Camper ran out, huh? Sorry, right, we're gonna finish him right here. Finish him. There we go. All right. Good shit. Yeah, my strength is still boosted right now. Very much like the camp for her. Resist. Oh man, this battle's gonna take forever. Well then. Disappointed now. 
Okay, so you can't make her turn go slower. She's not weak to any spells in particular. Just gotta chip this bitch down. We could use one of these. Um, you know what? Let's do the true barrage. Get fucked. Every time you hear a Kanye West song, you think of fish sticks now. Frog, that's hilarious. Do you like fish sticks? Yeah. You like to put fish sticks in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you a gay fish. <laughs> Good times. One cool thing about this fight is that she uses some of Walter's moves. Oh, does she? That would make sense. They did learn from the same guy, right? Her dad or something like that, right? Isn't that who they learned from? You really can't camp for this bitch? I'm trying again. Nope, really can't. Waste of time. Heal! Trying to get those S-Crafts built up again, I think. Meanwhile, hit her with magic! Uh-oh. Another dual dragon helix. No, it hurt. Oh my fucking lord. Okay, that was bad. Right. Her dad was the master. That's what I thought I remembered. So I'm glad I remembered that. Right, 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 right. Wake up, Annalise. Just don't die immediately. Oh, I said don't die immediately, not do die immediately. Damn it. Damn it, Annalise. You never listen. Yahamon. Good fucking shit. You need a healing. I'm gonna finish this bitch off. Quit running, you whore! You will die before me! Die, Kilika! Jesus! Thank you! I win! Hell yeah. Well, that's I wasn't too bad, actually. I feel like we handled that boss way easier than we handled the last several, like, end boss type bosses of, of an area. Although, I don't know. Philip, if I remember correctly, he wasn't too much of a struggle. We fought him back at the school. And we get a silver gem and a conversation. Oh, dear. I see taking a break on my training has finally caught up with me. I thought I was sure to win if I didn't hold back, but I've overestimated my own abilities. I wouldn't be so sure of that. You really gave us one crazy fight. If this is what you're like after a break, I dread to think what kind of monster you were your peak, brah. That was some kind of learning experience, if nothing else. You fought spectacularly, Kilika. Well, the time to say our goodbyes has come. With my defeat, you're halfway. You're now halfway through the trail trials of the Sixth Plane. Just be sure not to let your guards down. I'm sure the greatest challenges are very much still to come. Farewell. Let us meet again one day. Okay. That means we have two more fucking, like, main bosses down here. And it looks like the red one has activated. Noise. Pretty sure that one's opposite to the blue one or whatever color the first one we used was. Phew. She's just as merciless a fighter as she is a guild receptionist. That was my first time fighting her, but I can only hope it's the last. It's hard to believe that she wasn't even the real Kilika. Anyway, bras, we should be able to enter the next area now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. Let's say we go back to the garden before we keep going. Understood. I mean, I will. 
but I'll probably finish exploring this area first, and then, like, I don't know, maybe, um... Go to the next area to see who we need, and then go back. Also, oh, that's... Oh, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. Well, I'm assuming one of the rooms that's earlier is the one that has the other stash of Sepith. I just don't know which room that is. A room that has a way to, like, six things that I guess originally we had to use to, like, help drain the water or whatever. I don't even remember doing something like that. It was probably something from the first game, but I just don't remember. Or the second game. The last game, whatever. I don't want to walk back out of here. Um... I'm trying to think, what room would that be? First floor? I think I'm taking the river part too literally. Really? I mean, river or no, it said I had to look at the backside of something that had like six, six somethings. River something or no. I'm looking for a room that has six somethings that, you know, maybe it's this room. See it being one, one something in here, but what am I checking specifically? It just said like check the back side of it or whatever. Ah, there it is. I was correct. Okay, cool. I'm glad I figured that out. Neat, 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 neat. All right, so we found all three separate stashes. Stashes. I'm pretty sure I got all the treasures. There is one more door we should do though, huh? I mean, it is going to require us to go get Ren. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go back and figure out who we need next. And maybe I'll grab Ren and just use Ren for a little while. While also figuring out who else we need for the next main door. That sounds like a plan to me. We didn't actually go north here yet. Oops. Fucking Furbies are back, y'all. My favorite. Fucking Furbies. Fucking Furbies, dude! Just die, you annoying fucks, I swear. Oh my god. Look at Estelle, she's all bloated. Leave my bloated Estelle alone. That was a ridiculous fight, but okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't gone to the north side of this area, so we're going to check this out next. Take him down, Ziki. Got him. Good amounts is separate from all these fuckers. Yeah, we definitely... Well, if we have been up here, I don't remember it. We'll know if we find a treasure or not. A path here, which leads to... Actually, this might be the starting point of this whole area, now that I think about it. Like where we start off the whole sixth plane? I think that might be this place we're at right now. It is. It is exactly where we started okay so 
This place did make a big old full circle. Noted. Which means if this isn't the gate we need to open over here, which I'm pretty sure it's not. I know where the red one's at, and this is not the red one. Okay. The red one's the other one that's across from the other one. Which actually would have been faster had I just teleported. But you know what else is faster? This raid, bro! Let's go! Thank you for the raid, Rio. Appreciate it, good sir. I think I'm going the wrong way. Is this the red one? Maybe this is the red one. Oh, this is the red one. We're good. But Rio, thank you for the raid, and welcome to your favorite. Some trails. That tits three. And welcome, welcome from the raid pickle as well. How you doing? All right. Face of the money is glowing. The Lord of Phantasma does decree. Here lies the impregnable fortress. Place your hand on this monument, the Divine Blade's successor among your number. The Divine Blade's successor? Is that not Estelle or is that Joshua? Great. Don't have a clue what Impregnable Fortress could be referring to, but I think we all know what we're gonna, who we're going to need to have us with this time. Yep. No one else but Richard fits that description. Oh, I see. Successor as in, like, his actual job, not his actual successor. Glad to see we're on the same page. Well, let's head back to the garden and ask him to come with us. Well, we're about to bring on Ren and Dickard. That should be fun. Um, yeah, let's go back and do that. Shall we? You having a lot of buffering issues today, Moro? That's unfortunate. But yes, we had Rio raid. Thank you for the raid once again, my friend. When you're doing good there, Pickle, I'm doing good as well. Just rocking through Tits 3 oh, here, man. Because and also listening to Rio's little... Look, uh, there are two cases. Little uh, shout-out. Either your Yakuza. friend is guilty or not guilty. <laughs> friend is well, guilty or not I'm gonna guilty. I'm going to explain why. Uh, either your friend is guilty or not guilty, right? If he's in trouble. Adequate it could be something Adequate that he did. You know? Uh, okay, then. I like how you get cut, cut off in mid-sentence. Anyway, Kevin explained to Richard that they thought he was the person that Carnelia's monument inscription, inscription was asking for. What was his voice again? Oh, yeah, I was like, me, the Divine Blade successor. But I suppose there's no point in debating if I am fit to be called his successor. No one else seems to match the description, after all. I'd be happy to accompany you when you return to that monument. Thanks, brah. All right, let's check the equipment situation before we go back there. Time for Richard the Hedgehog to make an appearance. Oh, boy. That is some truth. Your friend's either guilty or he's not guilty. Yeah, that clip, uh, that clip kind of left us hanging a little bit, but it is what it is, I suppose. Those are some cool uh, tits emotes you got there, Pickle. Pickle, Pickle, Pickle. Pickle, Pickle, Pickle. I'm gonna buy these for Ren and for Dicker. I'm gonna buy these for Ren and for Dicker. You got a random gifts up from a channel and those are part of that? Well, they are pretty good, Pickle. Those are pretty good. Some nice little uh, 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 trails emotes. Jesus. Words are easy, guys. So easy. Oh, I have an extra one of these I forgot. And yeah, Morrow's new emotes that she drew herself are adorable. Agreed. Agreed, agreed, agreed. They are good stuff. Little wolf girl emotes. I like them. All right. So I guess we're going to teleport to 
that door. This one. We're gonna save it, and then we're gonna take on the trial that awaits inside. Because no doors left behind, homie. No doors left behind. Bring to me the girl who plays with a giant doll. Whoever inside a trial awaits her. Should this fail to deter you, open the door and step inside. Let's do it. Wait, no, hold on. I want to change my formation. I didn't even think about formation. Let me do that real quick. Oh, our formation's good. That's right. We already rocked this squad earlier. I swapped out Ren for Chloe, though. That's right. Because we needed Chloe for the first door in this area. That's right. I remember now. You're debating on drawing glasses on them? Figured you'd ask everybody else what they thought, though. I mean, they look adorable as is, Marl. You don't have to draw glasses. But if you, if you think you'd rather have the glasses on there to match your normal look... But you wear glasses most of the time. I know you don't always. But you could. You could if you want. Anyways, guys. Let's do a, another trial fight, I'm assuming. Let's do it. Let's do this, Ren. Is she going to do it by herself, though? She totally is. I didn't even think about the fact that she had to do it by herself. Well, here we go. Ren 1 v 1 with this fucking guy. Overcome the trial before you, then I shall grant you a memory fragment. Let's do it. Oh boy, this should be fun with her by herself. Let's go. At least I have full CP for this. Alright, I'm gonna do a little bit of this action right away. Are these ebony dudes? Hold up. Vogel, they're not even ebony specific. They have no description either. Alright, well then fuck them. I'm going to do the blood circle as planned. I can't hit all of them. I guess four is enough. Oh, you haven't played this game, Pickle? All right, yeah, you should definitely go into lurk mode now. I didn't know you hadn't played this. I thought you had played, like, at least the Trails games. If you have not, then yes, this would be time for you to go. <laughs> Lucky for you, this isn't really main story stuff other than uh, maybe who I'm playing as a little bit. So yeah, you might want to go. Anyway, Ren is a fucking savage. Jesus, she took all those hits like nothing. How much HP does this fucker have left? I've only done 800 damage to him. Is there a way I can boost my fucking strength right now? Do I have that on her right now? Probably not. I could speed her up, though. Let's do that. Alright. I'm about to just hit this fools with this. Damn, they're all spread out, though. It's the problem. How much does her attack do? More than the fucking move that I did. Kind of tempted to do Renee since I'll keep hitting her and her CP is going to build up from it. Um. Jeez. Uh. Fuck it. Do it! Worth it! So, I mean, though, her CP is going to just fly right back up with four or five people hitting her, you know? I don't even really need to heal yet. I think I got this. Her magic defense is absurd. Ooh, until she just got a defensive debuff, which is a problem. Uh, how much will I heal? 12,000? That's enough. Yeah, her defensive magic, uh, our defensive, her magic defense rather, is absurd. I love it. Could y'all stop hitting me with status effects and shit? And you took away all my CP, you fuck! Oh, you are a fuck! Oh my god, this is so annoying. 
Can we, like, unbuff all this shit? I can't get to them if they keep lasering me back. Oh, my God. That's so fucking annoying. I'm sorry. Right now, I keep itching my ear because right now it's so fucking, like, irritated. I don't know why. I need to do something about that. So annoying. All right. I guess I could just do this. This is all annoying me. Okay, the move thing went away, which is good. Still can't reach him, though. Reach him! Oh my god, he's one hit away. One hit away! Oh my god, stop it! Stop it! That would be a bunch of bungholes. Hit my ear with the ear candle? Maybe I should, man. Shit's irritated as fuck. It's kind of annoying. I've actually never done one of those ear candle things. I've only done, like, the... The, uh... The peroxide in the ear, or whatever it's called. The hydrogen peroxide, where you let it, like, bubble in your ear for a little while and then clean it out. I've done that. But I've never tried the ear candle. Anyway, this battle's over now. I just gotta make sure these fuckers don't chip me down. Get over here so I can finish the... Your candles are the shit for show. Never tried one, but I've I've seen them. Dude, I didn't mean to attack the further one. Whatever. <laughs> Murder. Later, douchebags. Anyway, level up for Ren and trial complete. Let's see if we have a. Oh man, we're probably gonna have a long one. Get ready for some reading, y'all. And I'll probably have to read in Ren's voice a lot, which is going to be great. My favorite voice to do. You have overcome the trial, thus I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Here we go. Here we go. And away we go. Loading, please wait. Loading, loading, complete. What the hell? That's a cool shot of the Pater Mater. Gordius Class Tactical Archaeism Development Plan. Author, 13 Factories. Codename, Patermater. Plan Overview. We intend to develop a cutting-edge archaeism that inherits the DNA of the rest of the Gordius series while containing a more advanced control system. It will retain the same tactical effectiveness that was the primary development goal in previous models while allowing for more flexible and precise strategic usage as well. Effective Radius. The archaeism is intended to be accessible across the whole continent. Powerful main and sub engines should allow it to operate for several years without resupplying. Autonomous combat ability. The use of the Mars Integrated Orbital ar Arithmetic Logic Unit will allow for an advanced autonomous robot or combat and effective identifying of targets. In addition, the Archaeism's control system will make use of the operator's nervous system, allowing for reflexive, instinctive movements in combat. The operator will communicate with the Arch Archaeism without being in physical contact with it. This will require combat, a compatible candidate to be found and chosen. Okay. And thank you for the GG for the fight there, Marl. Appreciate it. The operator will communicate with the Arch Archaeism without being in physical contact with... Oh, sorry. Dimensions. I have to click the next thing. I just read that. Height and weights. Overall height, 15.5 Arj. Unit weight, 55 Torum. 68 Torum when fully armed. Armaments. The Archaeism's primary weaponry will be its orbital energy cannons, but it will have other kinds of orbital weaponry and even several gunpowder-powered pow weapons as backup. It will also have a revival system, which we'll use an orbment to generate healing energy to heal or revive its operator in this times of danger. Armor material. The armor plating will be made using Kerdaligan alloy. Kerdaligan? Kerdaligan? It is the most fitting material to use, given that it is the most capable we have access to in all regards. For data regarding strength, see files on Gospel Plan. Current progress. 
new engines. Development is proceeding smoothly in line with the plans drawn up by Professor Novartis. Tests have also confirmed that they are already capable of providing power to the actuators. However, the professor has raised concerns about the low responsiveness of the flight engine. This is especially true for the anti-gravity generator. He concluded that the engine as it stands cannot be put into actual use. The possibility of using boosters to provide additional propulsion is under consideration. Actuators. Development of the actuators is experiencing significant difficulty as it is impossible to supply or simply simply supply as it is impossible to simply use the same ones as other archaisms. The increased size of the main weaponry means the archaisms weight during combat is significant and as a result problems have been occurring in durability tests especially with the leg joints. It may be possible to make improvements in this area by using precise controls so the weight burden is spread evenly rather than focused on one point. Main armaments. The orbital, cannon, the orbital energy cannons that will serve as its primary armaments have been successfully tested. However, by order of the professor of Professor Novartis, the possibility of them becoming twin mounts is being analyzed, so they have yet to be equipped. The new orbital engines are expected to be able to provide enough energy to compensate for the necessary increase in input. Control system. Experiments regarding the control system are currently ongoing. For the results of the experiments that have been carried out so far, see a separate entry. Experiments on results. Here we go. Tests of the control system continue to be performed. However, none of the test subjects have been able to realize the expected level of precision we are aiming for. The results of the main test conducted by Professor Novartis and his team can be viewed above. Test results. Test subject, subject A1, abnormality during phase 2, comatose. Test subject, subject B3, abnormality during phase 3, cardiac arrest. Test subject C1, abnormality during phase 1, insanity. Test subject E7, abnormality during phase 2, comatose. Test subject E3, Abnormality during phase 2 cardiac arrest. Test subject F2, abnormality during phase 2 comatose. Test subject D4, comatose. Test subject H1, comatose. Test subject 16, or no, it's I6, mental breakdown. As can be seen, all the test subjects failed to adapt to the control system. Nonetheless, the society continues to supply test subjects, and we intend to keep performing further experiments, further future developments. We have received word from the society that development is to be temporarily frozen. The reasoning is that the stability of the control system is in question. From now on, only test subjects carefully chosen by the society will be taking part in connection tests. Okay. Guess who? Test subject R3 successfully completed all four testing phases. Note, the subject did experience a small degree of flashbacks. Test subject R3 succeeded in communicating with Patermater, ascertaining the society's intentions in regards to resuming development. Subject R3 has succeeded in operating Patermater. Ascertaining the society's intentions in regards to resuming development. Well then. Yay! I like that that was a short and sweet one. We learned a bit about how the Patermater was developed and like what it was capable of. And obviously we know already that it's being piloted by Ren and we know that they experimented on a bunch of people to finally find a suitable candidate. That's why it's Ren. Makes sense. In my mind, she fucking built the thing, but I guess that somebody, like, scientists built it and tried to find a suitable candidate. That's how it works. But anyway, 10k mirror for that. And, uh, good stuff. Alright, cool. Now we can move the fork on. Good, 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 good.